Hey everyone, it's Erin Floater here and I am here showing you a day in the life of being an Etsy shop owner. So <laughs> today is weird. Um, today is my new release day for my patrons. So my releases are the first Friday every month, but my patrons uh, get it uh, like a half a month beforehand. So basically I am working on doing all of that. However, <laughs> this week is a little weird for me because my husband is on night shift and so I've already been working a little bit. So I'm taking my dog for a walk because uh, she needs to chill out <laughs> so that she can sleep with him a bunch. So yeah, so I'm taking her for a walk. Um, and to be honest, this is part of my life and, and this is a day in the life. So. I'm gonna go ahead and take her for a walk and then resume back when I am uh, in my office and working. Okay, so I am back at home. And basically what I do every month um, so that it's a patron exclusive early release is I give them code names so you can see like Patreon um, 01 is like the Nebula Nerd sticker kit. Um, I I know when people try to order things that if they are patrons or not, I know who all my patrons are. So I'm never truly worried about it. I just don't want anyone to buy things on accident. So I create this whole sheet of what the new releases are with like photos of the items so that they can take a look and that they can always have these like reference images um, for all of the new releases. So from there, I make listings that only say Patreon 01, and then it has all of the different variables involved that they can go ahead and pick from so that they can either get like a full kit of the new Nebula Nerds, or if they're platinum tier, then I already show them things that they get. And if they want to add on like the washi sheet, for example, that doesn't come with the platinum tier, then they can add that or they can um, add like the trackers and things like that. So I'm going to go ahead and add those listings and show you what I've got. So the other thing I added in like pricing and stuff for my patrons, so I'm actually just gonna go to Patreon and update um, that early release information so that um, they know. And I also skipped a number, so uh, I had to update all of the numbers. I'm just gonna put update in here and then put update. I can make this change, but I can also like send my patrons like an additional like, hey, by the way, this was updated. So I'm gonna go ahead and notify the patrons so that uh, everyone is aware <laughs> that new releases were updated. So then I'm gonna go back and keep adding more products. So who wants to see the other side of an Etsy shop owner's life? Uh, new release this week means 
<laughs> nothing gets cleaned. <laughs> it's really gross. I'm really sorry. Um, so I have finished making all of the listings. Those will go live at 2 p.m. for my patrons. All of the coupons are applied. I double checked it. I'll triple check it right before uh, everything goes live because I've had issues before, but those were mostly on Etsy. So fingers crossed that this works out a little bit better. So I've gotten all of that done. Eventually I'll clean this probably right after the new releases go live because I'm going to eat, I'm going to work on some orders. Um, and then I don't know, <laughs> work on some orders. Uh, I, I feel like that's going to be my whole life right now. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and eat and, uh, Maybe I'll clean up a little bit while everything is uh, getting ready. So I was making lunch and then I see my girl. So uh, for those that don't know, my husband had a COVID exposure. So uh, I made a pillow fort in the living room that I still haven't cleaned up. And I'm not because I have to sleep down here for like a week. So I'll redo the pillow fort because my cat's jumped on top of the pillow fort, whatever. And then I just see this girl, she loves laying down here. Hello, hi, hello. Oh no, you can't have that food. No, that's not for you. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> All right, food, then back to work. So I have orders printing and cutting right now and I'm gonna be able to package them and send them out today. So I'm really excited about that. These are some of the foil options, as you can kind of see in the sun, the foiling going. Um, I can't do a lot of recording during this part because these machines are pretty loud and it hasn't quite started yet, so that's why I'm able to show you now. But I'm also going to show you me cutting them and packaging them. So there are some times where I have like these imperfect things <laughs> where the foil shifted down so there's like a big black mark so this sheet is actually not getting sold I've been collecting all of my like imperfect cuts and things like that to do either giveaways or um, like inside of orders or um, I, I might do like selling 10 miscuts for like two dollars or something because my drawer is getting awfully full because of things like this Ugh. It annoys me so much, but it is what it is. I'll take care of it. Um, but just, to, uh, I guess I'll turn it over to you guys. Uh, would you be interested in purchasing things that have like imperfections like this? Because the other two are fine. <laughs> this one, not so much. <laughs> I'm going to go over this whole foiling process in its own video. But basically what I'm doing is um, I print on a laser printer. So not the Canon. Um, I have a separate Lexmart laser printer. And when foil is placed over that ink and heated up through um, the laminator and or uh, Heidi Swap mink, which is what I have, um, then the foil adheres to the ink. So it's pretty cool. And that's how I make all of my foiled stickers. And I don't know, it, it's brought me so much joy um, just doing all of those foil reveal videos and I'll go ahead and do one now. So, <laughs> oh, oh, you want to look cute for the camera? Okay, that's fine. <laughs> so in a calm before the storm type of moment, uh, before the releases go live, and while I'm taking a little bit of break from working on orders, I just need some lunch puppy cuddles. Hello, hello, Maria, hello. Um, my life as an Etsy shop owner, halfway over, <laughs> around this little girl, 
And if she needs walks and if she needs attention so that she doesn't wake up her father, particularly when he's working nights, so that she doesn't wake up her father. <laughs> so uh, we're just having a little cuddle sesh before I have to go turn on all the listings. All of the animals are now very interested oh. in what I'm doing and playing. <laughs> Not helpful. And it is 11.59, so I am going to go ahead and select all. Say, make products available on the buy button in the online store. Do, 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 do. Yay! I think. <laughs> all right, so let me go. Okay, they're all available. Let me go to the website. And yay! Okay, so you can see the featured collection and it shows all of the Patreon with the view all button so they can go straight to this collection. So yay! I'm glad that really, this is way easier than Etsy. So I'm definitely going to be working on my website a heck of a lot more over the next, I don't know, month. Cause I, I would like all of my releases to start going on my website first and people getting more directed to my website than to Etsy because I pay less fees and things on here and it's a lot easier to manage. I have so much more flexibility on here. So uh, if you are watching this later on, shop at my website, erinflotodesigns.com. You know, hashtag marketing. I let Malia out. <laughs> and she got herself caught <laughs> from the fire pit. Oh, my poor girl. I'm so sorry. <laughs> she loves the deck, so she loves laying out, so it's fine. And I just realized that this vlog is half what it's like to be an Etsy owner and half baby girl. <laughs> so I hope you all are okay with that. So I just want to say one of the worst things in the world is like kind of putting yourself out there and putting your work out there in the world and then just like waiting. Um, so I just want to give a shout out to my patrons because I never feel that way with a patron release, like an early release for them, because they always follow through. So I just want to give a big shout out to you. I really appreciate all of you. Um, you guys are amazing. I'm hiding my mom's name um, so that you can't see it. <laughs> but shout out to the moms of the world who are always supporting you. <laughs> I love that she reposts my stuff all the time. I, you know, I don't get any sales from that, but it's so sweet that she supports her daughter like that. So whenever she sees something from Erin Plota Designs on her Facebook, she reposts it. It's so cute.
So it's about 8.30. I'm just gonna finish up this vlog even though I'm continuing to work. Uh, you can hear machines going in the background. So basically what I did is I dropped off all of the orders. Um, so that was really fun. I mean, not fun, but like I did it. <laughs> and then I ate with my husband who woke up and uh, got him ready for work. Um, our hydro flask came and we got them like 70% off. So like I was really excited about it. Um, and now I've basically been playing Animal Crossing and <laughs> printing, uh, printing stuff that needs to get cut. So I'm cutting the rest of the night for orders. And then tomorrow I am um, printing and cutting the rest of the patron rewards. So um, that was really exciting. Uh, I had a good turnout today from the patron early release. So thank you all again, patrons for um, reaching out. Some people are um, waiting for paychecks and things like that, totally fine. So yeah, I'm really excited. Um, so if you wanted to know what a day in the life of an Etsy owner is, it's uh, literally an all day job. Um, and some of it is taking care of your dogs. So, uh, I hope you all like this video. I'm sorry about the noises in the background, um, but I just really don't want to pick up this camera again. Uh, I just want to kind of play Animal Crossing and relax. For some reason, these sounds like are a little bit soothing. I don't know. Um, but I'm probably going to listen to S Club 7. I did a Peloton ride the other day and S Club 7 was on it. And I was like, oh my God, that's so old school. So I'm going to probably put together a 90s playlist to listen to kind of drown that sound out. Well, um, it's pretty much going to go for the next two hours. So yeah, thank you all for watching. I hope you guys like this video. Uh, it was requested. So I'm hoping that uh, this was a fun insight into my job as an Etsy shop owner, um, even though I showed you a lot of website stuff, not technically the Etsy shop, but regardless, it's the same process for an Etsy shop as on Shopify. So thank you all for joining me. I hope this was interesting. Please let me know if you have any other requests for, I don't know, vlogs like this. If you want to know what it's like a day in the life of a scientist, a day in the life of dealing with Malia, I don't know. Uh, just let me know in the comments down below. Please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, all that kind of jazz. I will see you next time. Bye everyone.